Page Plus includes the powerful Cutout Studio, a dedicated studio environment that allows you to separate the subject of a photo from its background. It's very easy to use and in this tutorial I'll show you how. To start, select the photo you want to cut out and then on the Picture Context toolbar, click Image Cutout Studio. Cutout Studio includes its own help pane on the right here. It provides instructions to help you choose the right method and the right tools depending on the image you're working with. For example, I'm told that if my image has a simple or uniform background, I should choose the discard brush tool. Whereas if my image has a complex background and a more simple subject of interest, I should choose the keep brush tool. In this photo, the subject is definitely simpler than the background, so I'll choose the keep brush tool. Click the keep brush tool and then I'll select a medium brush size to start with. I'll also ensure that the grow tolerance checkbox is selected. This setting controls the precision with which areas are selected. It tells Page Plus to extend the area under the brush into the surrounding pixels. This option is particularly useful when you're working on very simple or uniform areas. Now I just click and drag on the areas of the image I want to keep. For the more detailed areas, I'll choose a smaller brush size. To get a better idea of the areas that are to be kept and those that are to be discarded, I'll click Show Tinted. Areas marked in green will be kept. You can see that this area here has been marked to be kept, but I want to discard it. To do this, I just click the Discard Brush tool. And this time, I'll clear the Grow Tolerance checkbox, because I only want to select the pixels directly under the brush. I don't want my selection to be extended. Now I just paint over the areas I don't want to keep. You can see how precisely I'm now able to select this area. There, I'm happy with my cutout, so I just click OK, and there's my cutout image. Why not try cutting out your own images now? When you've created your cutout, you can wrap text around it, use it to decorate the pages of a photo album, or add it to a custom greetings card you'll find folded greetings card templates in the Start New Publication dialog, which you can access from the Startup Wizard.